continue with our sharp focus today on water. And now we take you to Ayanda Nyati, who's at the water purification plant in Ridfle, and this is in Pretoria. And of course, Ayanda, you had an essential facility that ensures clean and safe uh, drinking water. Take us through the latest there. We're at the Red Flay Dam, Red Flay Dam, in fact. It's one of several uh, uh, water management facilities, for lack of a better term. And the work that is being done here is actually quite phenomenal. In the first hour of the show, when you and I spoke, we were at a dam area, a couple kilometers, perhaps less than a kilometer, actually, from where we're at. And that's where, essentially, the water in its rawest form is collected, right, from rain, from many other things. And ultimately, the magic is done right here behind me. In fact, there is a facility towards the further end where I'm pointing at there, where uh, the dam is actually collected. It ultimately goes through some of these steps here and uh, we'll show you inside ultimately what happens to it before it's safe enough for you to actually consume. But there are people who are way more knowledgeable, way more knowledgeable than I am about what's taking place here and can speak to us to the technicality uh, as we continue with our special coverage around the water challenges we're facing a lot of focus has been in the city of Johannesburg, but uh, we, of course, are in Twane and are going to get you a sense of at least how this particular facility contributes and augments bulk water suppliers who ultimately try and meet demand, which is, of course, we know a big challenge for here in the country. So let me bring in our guests who have been very patient and kind and knowledgeable standing by with us. We've got once again Ndate uh, Jeshri Kutu, who is the Deputy Director for Water Scientific Services, and Obabu Marcus Matebola, who is uh, one of the process controllers. So, gentlemen, great to see you again. Thank you for your time and your patience. So we'll divvy it up. Let's begin with what we're able to see here. I mentioned earlier that we started off at the dam and essentially water from the dam lands up here. Yes, uh, basically the reason for this uh, facility is to augment water from rainwater, to reduce over-reliance from rainwater. So as you see here, water comes in through that point by gravity feed into the dosing point. And the dosing point is where we add uh, our chemicals, of which is, is flocculent. So as it goes through this, it mix, the water mixes with the flocculant so that it can form particles. So it moves into this uh, flocculation channel into the main, main building that we will go to now. Right. And yeah, we'll, we'll show our viewers in just a moment. I wonder if we can just show you um, more of that water, actually, while we also explain um, what we mean. So it doesn't look like you want to consume it, at least not, not in this current form. But eventually, there's going to get to a point where hopefully you're able to see something you're willing to even dip into. But uh, Mr. Matebula, I introduced you as a, a process controller. Perhaps let's just begin by understanding what that job actually entails. What, what's your kind of contribution here? Um... Yes, I'm Mr. Matebula here in uh, Ridfley. Um, uh, my contribution here is only uh, I, I'm controlling the, the processes that are of water that we are looking at here right. until, until it distributed to the consumer itself. Right. And it's quite a process. Some people don't actually really appreciate that. Uh, Mr. Kutu, let me bring you back into the discussion. You spoke about chemicals that are actually mixed in here. Are you able to tell us about some of them and ultimately what your objective is uh, with them there? Look, we are using set flock at the moment. That is used to, um, to bring the particle together because it's a, it's a bulking agent. Mm. Then it's, as it goes through here, it forms big particles that will then see where it ends up there. We've spoken a lot about taking you to where we're going, so perhaps let's do that. You'll uh, appreciate that it's quite a dance, as it were, with the cameraman. Gentlemen, look at me leading you in your own facility. But we're going to go inside, and I've been there already, so follow us as we come in. It is slightly louder inside here um, because there's so much taking place, and we're going to walk you through it now. So the water outside comes from the dams. It makes its way through here. Help us understand what we're seeing and why it's important. Okay, what we see here is a, it's a filter. A filter has a sand at the bottom and it's open at the top. So what is happening as the water comes in, we introduce it into, a, we produce a compressed air, whereby we are going to use the most method of DAF, dissolved air flotation and filtration. Then that uh, air that is pumped into the water, it forms fine particles. Those fine particles, the particles that were formed out there, will then attach themselves to that small bubbles that floats on top, 
and the bigger particles will settle as it, set, it filters at the bottom. And this is the, the way we see that water in here. And I wonder if we can maybe get a shot of uh, what Mr. Kutu was talking about. Um, this is more of a foamy substance um, when he describes the splitting of the particles. And essentially, um, the particles that weren't able to settle to the bottom of the water that's collected from the outside, this is what they actually look like. Again, difficult to take that in because ultimately um, this is water that you and I consume. But it's a good thing to see that all the particles we don't need don't make it into our taps. It's a bit loud because part of what's happening there is I see a big hose pipe um, and a gentleman there doing his job readily. You call that backwashing. What, what, what does that mean? Meaning that as, as a filter is filtering, there's a time where filtration doesn't happen much as, as the water is as the, stra the strainer on, on the filter sand. So as a result, we have to backwash it, whereby we push the water back so that it can clear the filter sand and the, the, the remaining uh, particles and the sludge that is on top, it goes out. Mr. Matabula, let me bring you back into the discussion. I mean, this seems like quite a complex process. Typically speaking, do we know how much water passes through here, maybe in a day? Uh, in a day, we, 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 the, our inflow is 25. So the water that is passes here, it's almost uh, 25, almost uh, 26, as it, it is mixed with uh, the fountain's water. The, therefore, it, 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 we, we, we clean it, and they go to, the, to our distributions. It also needs a lot of people on board. I mean, there's gentlemen we found there behind us, the, the guy who's doing the backwashing. Um, typically speaking, it must be a shift thing because you can't really switch this place off. But at any given time of the day, how many people would you find typically working at this aspect of the plant? Look, uh, we are running three, uh, uh, three, three shifts, of six hour shifts. Then we are operating with two process controllers, with a, uh, one process controller and two assistants on a shift. Right. Yes. Right. And, you know, the work itself must be very interesting indeed. Um, we are kind of coming into the rainy season. There's been a lot of rain over the past couple of, of days. And Mr. Matebula, does it make it easier to purify the water when it's been rainy during the summer season? Because I know there's a bit of ammonia sometimes in the dam. Yes, it is. Uh, it is uh, quite difficult because of uh, water. It comes with a, a collective it, 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 uh, nutrification stuffs that uh, 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 are, are getting inside the water. So, 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 so it needs more. Uh, it consumes more, more chemicals that are uh, that, that we are going to need in the water. All right, so it's quite an elaborate process, and you know I'm going to be uh, open in telling you that I have I've lost my connection to studio. But hopefully, uh, what we've been able to do is get you a sense of some of the work that goes into these different steps. What we're going to do at a later stage is take you to the final product, or at least a semblance of it, to get you a better understanding of how all of this ultimately comes together from the dam earlier on to the noise, frankly, that we're hearing here inside this plant and ultimately in the final step.